Ahoy there, my name's Beth and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, windows. So here we are again. Um, I'm really tired today. Oh, it's been a long week, but um, but you know we've got we've got things to do, and um, and one of the most important things I think about this project is just keeping on going. Um, I think uh, so. What I try and do every day is I try and do something that makes my situation better. Um, so every night when I go to sleep, I think, what did I do today that uh, that you know kind of improved things or repaired the boat in some way? Um, and you'll know the long and uh, sorry story about uh, about paint, but um, so long story short, the deck paint that's on now it, it looks really nice. It works quite well, but I've got another non-slip, so I'm going to put that on areas where I'm going to be standing a lot, sort of under the tiller and um, along the side decks, places I'm going to move, and uh, and that that will really be it for that. But I also do have some chestnut brown because I'm not so happy about the colours underneath here. I'm not really happy with the grey, the grey looks a bit too grey. On the deck it looks really lovely but um, on the sides it's just a bit too much, it's just a bit too um, too um, sort of industrial. Um, so I've got some chestnut brown and if you remember a while ago I talked to you about the uh, tile brick red that I, um, that I got. Uh, and that I thought was the only kind of similar colour, but um, but actually it's, uh, it turns out you can get lots of different colours in all of the RAL charts and all of the different rainbow colours. So I got some chestnut brown, which I hope will work quite well. Um, I think it'll just be a little little more um, toned down than the grey. So um, so yeah, we'll try that. So chestnut brown and the goosewing grey non-slip deck paint. As I say, it's just about keeping going and. Uh, I am so sick of painting right now, but it, that doesn't matter. I just need to uh, to keep painting. I need to uh, to keep going. So I need to keep momentum. So we'll start that, and then uh, then we'll have a look at the window. That would be more interesting. too light but goodness me if I get another pot of paint they're gonna think I've gone gone wrong <laughs> I think what I might do is I might start over here and then uh, if it looks okay then I'll keep going otherwise I'll leave it. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think this might be the quickest paint job start to finish that I've done, but I don't like it. I'm not sure. I don't know. Right, maybe you can help me. I'm going to stop painting. I'm not going to do any more this week. Uh, but I'd like your advice. See what you think. So this, this bit is the new, the new paint. This is this, uh, this chestnut brown, which I don't think is chestnut brown. I think this is more like a dark terracotta or something. Um, so it's going to go on here, but I think it's too light again. So this is the original colour, you can see here, which is very much like a sort of, I don't know, like a, a kind of almost a grey chocolate kind of colour. So, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that. So, so this, I don't think this, uh, I looked at the charts online uh, on the, on the um, screen, but you can never tell. I mean, it's, I know it's a Raoul colour, but chestnut brown, it's not chestnut at all. Have a look. I mean, that's, maybe it is chestnut brown, but it's not what I imagined. I imagine much more of like a mahogany type of colour. So I think, um, well, it's another 13 quid wasted, but um, but at least I know, but I'm not going to do any more. So uh, let me know what you think. Should I stick with this colour all the way around here? Should I stick with the grey? Or should I get a colour much similar to this one and paint it all around here? What should I do? Help me! So, this is the window we're going to remove and um, it's Sunday and it's very quiet, so I'm not really going to be able to use any power tools, uh, which um, is a, a little bit disappointing because this week uh, we've had the film crew that I told you about last time, um, so I've not been able to make any noise all week. So, um, but we're going to have to use the power tool a little bit because I need to cut some ply to uh, to replace this window. So, but sadly, this window needs to go. But it's not all bad because um, I I told you. Um, last time I think that um, I've got good plans or big plans for this window I'm going to um, to replace this window frame which um, is a is a kind of nice shape but I'm going to replace it with the with a window frame that can uh, allow the window to open so it'll open inwards a little bit also I'll be able to take the the window pane out um, for more ventilation that's going to have some blinds on it as well with uh, with shutters so it's going to be quite a complex frame um, so I'm going to take one window out and then we're going to go to the wood yard we're going to measure it all up and make a plan I'm going to go to the wood yard get the wood and we're going to build one of the frames and that's going to be kind of my prototype uh, hopefully not too much of a prototype hopefully it'll just work and be able to fit it um, but because I don't have the other portholes in yet uh, I kind of need all the light I can get but this one, it's the kind of one that I can live without. So it's next to the next to the wood shop. So um, so I'm just going to have to live without one, without that one for a while. But um, so there's two sizes. There's this larger one aft, and there's a slightly smaller one forward. The only difference I think is that it just the aft one is higher. I think they're about the same height. But the complex bit is going to be cutting this. Uh, this top section but the benefit is that I've got this this part of the frame to use as a uh, template so when I'm cutting I can use this as a template and get a good cut um, so yeah so let's uh, let's crack on with that and I've got my dad's trusty trizzle trusty trizzle trusty chisel a trusty trizzle that I can do this with so let's get on with it oh before I do I've got two hammers and this one, I left the label on, and I don't know if you can see, but it's actually a ladies' claw hammer, so ladies and gents. Anyway, I'll start with the ladies first because it's going to be slightly more subtle. <laughs>
thought that might happen because the uh, this beading is cut on the well across the grain, so it's going to have uh, these weak points. So I think I've found how they're fitted in anyway, which means that I need to take a little bit of the foam from around the inside of the uh, the window frames, but I can replace that with some expanding foam, so that's okay. But I don't know if you can see right in there, there is a, a fixing, a screw appearing. Um, so I think uh, that, well, obviously they're screwed in from this side. Um, so yeah, so I think we need to dig away at this bit and then find the fixings and then uh, then we might be able to might be able to remove the frame, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a big job. Hope I've got enough time before it starts raining. So we can see we can see how it works now. There is the edge of the boat comes along and it turns around this corner, uh, and that's how it's done. So um, that's how it's done, and it's also starting to rain. So I think it's setting in for now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of board over this hole for now um, and tape it on, and that'll keep us dry a little bit dry for for the next few hours. But um, I uh, at least have worked out how it uh, how it goes together, um, so I can have a bit more of a think, and um, yeah, should be okay. morning right well after after yesterday I um I went to bed for a little nap in the afternoon and slept till about 6 p.m. so I had about uh, five hours sleep in the afternoon so I guess I needed it but in my slumber I've kind of worked out a plan of getting these things out so let me come inside and I'll tell you about it so the plan is um, these windows are now, these frames at least, I now know are um, fitted in with um, with some screws um, and there aren't many screws and actually um, they are absolutely rotten as well so there's obviously been a lot of water around here in the past which isn't ideal. However, you will be able to see this kind of edge flange so the, the side of the coach roof uh, comes along and then bends in. So I think this has always been a part, a part of uh, an area of water ingress 
um, and that kind of makes sense. Um, there was a lot of water coming into the boat before through the fore hatch and through loads of different types of areas. So, so yeah, so getting this uh, this sorted would be really good. Um, the thing is that the the design of it means that you can't really get a, an exceptional um, uh, kind of fitting to it. If it had uh, come back in again, so something to you know a kind of flat section for the frame to be um, attached to, that would have been quite good because it would have uh, been much harder for water to get in and out because actually there's a three hole. But um, but uh, no, no, I'm aware of it. So I'm just going to have to make the frames really accurately and uh, and put some good mastic in there and uh, and just you know again put it on the log. So that's another thing to uh, to to check. Um, yeah, so uh, all I'm going to do today is I'm going to make some cuts and I'm going to pull these sections out. So most of them should come out okay. Um, if they um, have that the, the screw in place, I think they'll come out really easily anyway because the screws are all really rotten. Um, so, um, so yeah, so let's go on with it. So it's a, uh, it's been a really hot day again today. Um, so I've got the, uh, the window open. Ooh, Bertie likes it, so I'll tell you pickle. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so that project is gonna have to take a few weeks, I'm afraid, because I still need to go to the uh, wood yard to get the wood. Um, so, uh, so we're gonna mix up the jobs a little bit and hope that's okay. Um, one thing I did do is I went to um, to B and Q the other day, yesterday, and I bought loads of bits. I've got loads of bits, which is really nice. Um, one of these as well. It's a consumer unit for a garage, but I'm going to use it uh, temporarily on the boat to run some sockets around and power them up while I'm uh, doing the renovations. Um, so it is, uh, it's rated to 32 amp, well, it's got a 32 amp breaker and a 6 amp breaker. So I'm going to use the 6 amp breaker only in here. And I shouldn't need to use much more because that's, uh, I don't need to draw much power. Lots of different types of things going on, but we've started a few projects now. 
So, um, so those should progress soon, um, and uh, yeah, it's a good start. But, um, but yeah, you join me here in my uh, in my uh, drama spot, I like to call it, and uh, and this is a really nice part of the boat to sit on. And um, I think uh, in every project you need to have a, a dream or some kind of idea of the future. And while I um, I have a good idea of uh, the, the how the boat's going to look. Um, and I walk through that kind of layout myself uh, at night in my, in my mind. Uh, but also I have this kind of um, this dream in the back of my head of, um, of taking the boat one day up to the uh, Hebridean, Scottish Hebridean Islands. And, um, and I can just imagine being, being moored off a, a picturesque island in a lovely loch and, uh, and enjoying a single malt and, uh, and benefiting from all this work on the boat. And uh, of course, I'll take you with me. Um, but yeah, so that's another week. Um, next week we're going to continue the projects that we uh, we started. Um, but it's a it's a good chance again to to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for for being with me, and um, and a special thanks to Christina and Teresa um, who have been with the channel for a while, and um, and it's been lovely sharing things with you. And um, and they both bought me a coffee uh, this week with the link in the description. And it's I'm really blown away it's hugely generous and thank you very much i'm actually going to save a bit of the money that the coffee that all of the coffees that people have bought me and i'm going to buy a flagstaff and an ensign for the back of the boat um so i'm putting that money to one side so whenever you see the flagpole for the flagstaff and the ensign you'll know that that's uh, that's what you helped me so um so yeah thanks again for watching it's been a bitty week uh but next week more of the same have a great week and i'll see you next time